Your Holland's going to weigh in and say something. His Holiness um, wonders how much we can um, um, accept the fact that it's being uh, often presented that the human thoughts uh, are very much, you know, almost kind of determined by the environment in which we, we live. I think. Uh, uh, I mean, there are uh, people who remain completely isolated and the solitude for the life. But at the same time, you see, they develop immense sort of knowledge and also the immense sort of what's the certain values. So I think here. Uh, The mental level experience, I think two kinds. I often tell people, one level of mental experience mainly sort of what's it, based on the information or sort of experience through sensorial level. But that level of mental sort of mental experience very much related with external things, environment things. Then another level of mental experience, not relying on sensorial sort of uh, uh, faculties, but uh, mind itself. Uh, so of course, you see, there are uh, two ways, I think, to change mental level, not relying on other. You know, here, one dumba, one shirup. So one is by using the force of our intention and motivation, and one is by applying our faculty of intelligence and understanding. I think that, I think better, better or useful is it to uh, make awareness that, otherwise you see those people uh, who without sort of some beautiful, without seeing some beautiful thing or without sort of music, uh, then other sort of physical, because of the physical level facility, then feel really sad or boring. Uh, because, you see, lack of sort of knowledge or, or awareness, the, another level of mental sort of experience, uh, which not relying on uh, sensory level. So once you know that and explore on that level, then remain solitude life. So you can develop immense sort of inner peace. Uh, then I think socially I think draw just a little more. Just a little more draw. I mean, socially you do just that. Yeah, my that's do just that. Some socially that we need socially that some time we need that. We need some do just that. Matter me. Yeah, yeah. Just a little more. Just a little more. Just a little more. Just a little more. I think. I think in order to become professor. Firstly, the individual himself or herself must train. And once you reach certain sort of uh, quality uh, through study, then teach other. Similarly, in order to change the society, peaceful society, first you yourself have to develop inner peace. Full of anger, full of jealousy. How can turn other people peace of mind? Impossible. First, first, the work has to be done on yourself. I think someone you mentioned that totally. I agree. The change, of course, environment also is a very important factor, but uh, the change in human society, the initiative must start from individual. Okay. So that's. Uh, I think sometimes the people say. Environment you have to meet who you are, but of how you are not on share. Sometimes uh, certain social scientists tend to give the impression that it is only by changing the environment we can change the human being, but not from the initiative of the individual. Then who can change the environment? By government, no. Mm. By resolution, even from United States, United Nations, no. Uh -huh. Oh, 
United Nations, even United Nations, you say, cannot change the whole environment. This is a built so peaceful society through United Nations. Impossible. A powerful government like the United States cannot do. So all this must be created by human, uh, or sorry, human initiative. And also, as you know, uh, at Hiroshima, I mentioned this. Peace you see, cannot achieve through prayer. <laughs> <laughs> so the happy society, compassionate society, will not come through prayer or through one single person's meditation, no. But we must be active. Through action, we can change our society. But initiative must come from individuals. Thank you, Your Holiness.